Hello, I've created this video to show you what I've learned is the best way to make pom-poms from t-shirt or legging yarn. If you're wondering how to make that, uh, check out my channel so you can uh, see my previous tutorial where I made this lovely pom-pom that you see right here first uh, in that previous tutorial. Uh, but I wanted to, I had enough t-shirt or legging yarn left to do two more. So I, I tried it a different way because I was curious how it would come out. This is not the best way. The first thing I tried was uh, to loop around the uh, legging yarn, the yarn I made from up upcycled leggings uh, that were in a print that I loved. And I didn't want to throw them away, but they were too worn to wear anymore. So uh, I cut it into strips, which you can see in the other video. And uh, I made that that uh, first pom-pom. I wanted to see what would happen. I thought it might be a cool effect if I just try tried ro to roll the legging yarn around the pom-pom maker in a very smooth and straight way like you see here. Uh, it's the normal way of making a pom-pom just in the pre like in the previous video. If you need more instruction, refer to that tutorial. Um, and I was curious to see how this would turn out. I thought it might be really cool and maybe I could see more of that um, print that I loved so much in those leggings that I was upcycling. Uh, but as you are about to see, it did not come out very exciting. Uh, there's no floofiness. There's no poofiness. There's no fun pom-pominess. So uh, I did just like I did in the in the previous tutorial using some of my the seam scraps to tie the pom-pom together and uh, tried to fluff it all up and trim it up and as you can tell it just came out blah. It's just um, yeah fail. No 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 I didn't like it. So I took what was left of my legging yarn and this is what works the very, very, very best as you will soon see. Take the time after you cut the strips to really stretch out each of those pieces. It doesn't take very long, but it is worth that extra step, let me tell you. So really, as you can see here, stretch it out. Stretch it out so that it's really rolling up on itself a lot. The first one I did in the first tutorial, I, I stretched it. I, I didn't really stretch it. I just cut it and stretched it a little bit. But this time I really stretched it out so it would get re really curl in on itself. And then as you can see, you can't even see any of the print. You, you just see that uh, underside white here. And I rolled it up uh, the same way um, for tips and how to have the best, most smooth pom-pom as a result, uh, please reference that other video. And now you're gonna see how this method of taking that extra time to stretch out each of the yarn pieces really pays off. I just love it when you cut through all those layers and it just comes out so nice, it just, it's very satisfying. So as you can see here, it really makes for little tight little curls of uh, that fabric yarn that we've made. Um, and I'm just cutting here the other side of the pom-pom. It's my favorite part to see the pom-pom actually come alive and see what the end result is going to be. And just by stretching out those uh, pieces of t-shirt or legging fabric, you get these tight little rolls that creates this excellent, excellent effect. So uh, as you can see here, I'm doing the same thing that I did last time in the uh, first tutorial. I use actual seam, uh, what was left from the seam as I was cutting the leggings apart. Since you have that stronger thread in there from doing the seaming, 
and it allows me to pull really, 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 really tight uh, without having to worry about the fabric breaking or stretching or anything like that because it has that extra reinforcement of the thread that was used for that seam. So I tie it once on one side and twice on the other side, pulling it really tight as I go here. And if you notice, the the pom-pom on the upper left is the flat one that I did. Uh, I ended up going piece by piece since the pom-pom was already made and pulling it, pulling on it. So it, it got a lot, it looked a lot better than you saw a couple of minutes ago. But this way is definitely the very best way to make this work. You can see how much... Uh, denser, how much fuller, how just the, this amazing texture that it has. And now I'm trimming that all up and it just, it almost looks like a piece of coral or I don't know, but it's just gorgeous with the soft colors and the, the leggings were made of such a soft fabric. This pom-pom is super, super soft to the touch. And you get this beautiful structured pom-pom when you take that time to just make sure you pull out all of those pieces so that they roll in on themselves. Doesn't that look great? I just think that it's um, it's such an improvement. It's not drastic, but it just makes it that much better. From now on, whenever I make a t-shirt or a legging pom-poms, I will make sure to take that extra step. So I'm going to show you close up what these look like. This was the one that I did flat uh, that I said I ended up individually pulling on each one, which is a little tricky. I ended up pulling some of them out, so you don't want to do it that way. You definitely want to pull on them before you make the pom-pom. The one on the right is from the original tutorial that you can find on my channel. And uh, the one all the way on the far right now is the one we just made, and it's definitely the nicest one. And now you know the trick to making the best t-shirt or legging pom-pom.